It's an all-day Beatles bonanza. Beatles music all day long this November 1st. Stay tuned until midnight tonight on Beatle Magic on RJFM 100.3. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Beatles music all day and night on Beatle Magic. Hi, everyone. I'm Kyla, and I hope you're enjoying RJ100's Beatle Magic musical special this November 1st. Up next, the single that sealed the Beatles' success in the United States, breaking two records. One for having five hits simultaneously in the top five positions on Billboard music charts, and a week later, the second record for having the most number ones in the top 100. They broke the record of the king, Elvis Presley, who had nine songs in the top 100 in 1956. The Beatles had 14 on the Billboard 100 charts. Have you guessed the song yet? How about if I tell you that it was one of the first pop songs to start with the chorus instead of a verse, and that it combines the up-tempo Motown with mid-50s rockabilly? And it's about valuing love over money. Ah, you guessed it. Listen to George Harrison on guitar, whose style here is influenced by Carl Perkins and also to Paul McCartney's scream that was inspired by Little Richard. Here's Can't Buy Me Love. Can't Buy Me Love was one of the Beatles songs that held the top five positions on U.S. charts on April 4 in 1964. The other four songs were Twist and Shout, She Loves You, I Want to Hold Your Hand, and Please Please Me. Paul McCartney wrote Can't Buy Me Love when the band was on tour in Paris, staying at the George Five Hotel. They were there for an 18-day stint at Paris's Olympia Theater, and it took them only four times to record the basic track. And oh, since Beatlemania had hit, there were more than three million advanced orders for Can't Buy Me Love. Stay tuned for more of the biggest Beatles hits on RJFM's Beatle Magic. All Beatles, all day long, on Beatle Magic until midnight this November 1 on RJFM 100.3. On with the show. You're listening to an all Beatles special on RJFM. Hi, everyone. I'm Kyla, and I hope you're enjoying RJ100's Beatle Magic musical special. Coming up, it's a live performance from 1988 when the Beatles perform at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions with Mick Jagger, Bruce Springsteen, Billy Joel, and other great artists. Let's listen. A live performance in 1988 when the Beatles were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Those are some of the Beatles singing together with Mick Jagger, Bruce Springsteen, and a whole bunch of other rock and roll legends. You're listening to Beatle Magic on RJFM. We're going through the biggest and rarest Beatles hits. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Beatle Magic on RJFM. Hi, everyone. I'm Kyla, and I hope you're enjoying RJ100's Beatle Magic musical special. Coming up next, here's something that I found on YouTube. It's a live version of Paul McCartney performing Eleanor Rigby and Band on the Run from 2009. Let's listen. That's Paul McCartney in a 2009 live version of Eleanor Rigby and Band on the Run. You're listening to Beatle Magic on RJFM. We're going through the Beatles' biggest and rarest hits, so stay tuned. Beatles music all day and all night. Every year, it's a tradition on RJFM to have an Elvis versus the Beatles challenge when we ask you, our listeners, to vote for your favorite artist and tell us why they're better, to choose between Elvis, the king of rock and roll, or the Beatles, the fabulous four. Well, it's been 14 years. And since the Beatles have won for the past three years, we thought we'd mark the 15th year with a special treat for all of you Beatles fans. An all-day Beatles bonanza. Beatles music all day long. So stay tuned and enjoy the rest of Beatle magic until midnight tonight. All Beatles all day long on Beatle magic until midnight this November 1 on RJFM 100.3.
on with the show. Hi, everyone. I'm Kyla, and I hope you're enjoying RJ100's Beatle Magic Musical Special. Coming up next, something recorded in 1995. It's George, Paul, and Ringo performing one last time. Let's listen. That's George, Paul, and Ringo performing in 1995. You're tuned to RJFM's Beatle Magic Musical Special. We're going to the Beatles' biggest and rarest recordings. Stay tuned. We'll be back.